Hi, my name is Mark D. Coppolis, and I'm a Philadelphia criminal defense and real estate lawyer. And this is my Philadelphia criminal defense and real estate blog. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about Philadelphia rental assistance and the eviction moratorium that's currently in place until June 30th of 2021. Since March of 2020, there's been an eviction moratorium in place in Philadelphia. And essentially what that means is that landlords are not being permitted to remove tenants uh, from their homes for non-payment of rent, breach of the lease, or termination of the term, unless if there's a good cause exception. And what the recent court order basically says is that unless the landlord can show extenuating circumstances other than non-payment of rent, for example, that the tenant is damaging the property, that the landlord is suffering from severe financial distress, or there's some other good cause reason, you cannot remove a tenant in Philadelphia until at least June 30th of 2021. And this moratorium started back in March of last year, and it's been extended time and time again. The president and judge of the Philadelphia Municipal Court issued a new order two days ago, and that order extends the moratorium consistent with the CDC deadline to June 30th of 2021. And what the judge also said in that order is this is the last time that the moratorium will be extended. So there's at least some signs that there's a light at the end of the tunnel here and that landlords will begin to be able to process evictions in a timely manner into the summer of 2021. Which brings me to the second uh, phase of this blog post, which is Philadelphia rental assistance. Now, a lot of landlords may be reluctant to apply for rental assistance, but it's worth noting that the city of Philadelphia was granted $100 million from the federal government to fund landlords and tenants who cannot afford to pay their rent. And you can apply for some of this money if you're a landlord or a tenant um, who's been affected by the COVID pandemic at philrentassist.org. We'll include the link underneath this blog post. But in order to have a good chance at receiving these funds, it seems to be the case that the landlord and the tenant need to work together to submit a joint application. If they do that, the application will be reviewed and within 45 days, if the application is approved, the landlord should receive a substantial check for whatever rent, utilities, um, and costs were incurred as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Right now, um, the city has only processed about two dozen applications for Philadelphia rental assistance, uh, but there's only about two dozen that have actually been funded. And there's a massive amount of money available uh, for this program. So if you've been impacted by COVID, if uh, you're a landlord or a tenant who cannot afford to pay the rent or you haven't received the rent, consider applying for this rental assistance because the money is there. And because the application is a little bit confusing, there's probably a lot of applications that are going to get lost in the shuffle. And therefore, those applications that are completed have a good chance of being funded if they're solid ap applications. Uh, one other thing I'd like to point out, if you're a landlord right now who absolutely needs to get possession of your property, um, you can file a motion for exception from the eviction moratorium. It is a high standard, but again, you have to show that you have good cause to proceed with an eviction right now. So if you absolutely need to get possession of your property, you can put in that motion, you will receive a court date, and you can plead your case that you should be entitled to an exception to the moratorium. A lot of these pleadings are being litigated without a defendant present. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, the number of default judgments in landlord-tenant cases has risen precipitously. So if you're a landlord, you go into court, you're asking the judge to grant an exception to the moratorium, the tenant doesn't even show up to court, there's a possibility that that will be granted. That may not be as significant now as we're nearing the end of, morator of the moratorium, but it's something to consider. If you've been waiting, if you're a landlord who's been waiting to file an eviction, now would probably be a good time to do it because the court dates for filing evictions have become shorter. So it used to be back in the beginning of the pandemic, if you filed an eviction, you'd receive a court date in three, four, five, six months. Um, some of the evictions you were filing in April and you weren't receiving court dates until November or December of last year. Now, if you file an eviction, the system has normalized a little bit. So if you file an eviction today, you would likely get a court date in July of 2021. 
There are new requirements with respect to filing evictions. If you file an eviction for non-payment of rent, you need to apply for rental assistance before you submit the eviction. If you're filing for breach or termination of the term, you may be able to bypass that requirement. So there's a lot of developments uh, with respect to the COVID-19 pandemic and Philadelphia eviction law. If you have any questions about the Emergency Housing Protection Act, about rental assistance, the application for rental assistance, or you just want to file an eviction to get somebody out of your property, feel free to give me a call. Uh, my direct line is 267-535-9776, and I'd be happy to discuss any of these issues with you. Again, my name is Mark D. Kopoulos. I'm a Philadelphia criminal defense and real estate lawyer. And as always, thank you for watching my blog.